Hello and welcome to the match of the day, which of course is the big one in the Northern Division for the year. The match between the uh, teams running first and second, one point between them, Sydney Croatia, the home side today, and of course Sydney Olympic. But with me today are the two goalkeepers from those teams, Steve Watson of Croatia on my right, and of course Gary Meyer from Sydney Olympic on my left. Uh, Steve, to you first, it was a nil or draw the last time, pretty busy man you were, as was Gary in that match. Uh, is it going to be a low-scoring one again? Oh, I don't know, it all depends on the teams, you know. It's they take their opportunities given to them, they, they two score a lot of goals, or could be nil or again, I don't know, you know. Still, you could be a busy man again today, Gary. Oh, I think I will be today, more so than last time, I think. At their home ground, their advantage, so it should be an interesting game. You think should, it should be more feared than the last one? No, no more feared than any time we play them. I think uh, wherever you play them, it's going to be a good game between us and Croatia, so there's no problem. All right, lads, best of luck to you both, Steve. Good luck to you and Gary. Thanks for being with us. Let's check the lineups now with our commentator, Mike Hill. Sydney Croatia on our match of the day last week when we saw them go down one goal to nil to Arpia, and that loss took them off of the top spot. Well, coach Fedran Rosic names this lineup, which shows two changes from last week. Marian Kovacic comes back from injury, and Manis Lamond is in the starting lineup. He was a substitute last week. Sydney Olympic went top last week thanks to a 1 0 win over Newcastle. The goal scorer was Marshall Soper. He's passed the late fitness test, and Sydney Olympic are unchanged. <laughs> Our referee today is Mr Jim Reeves from Newcastle and Sydney Croatia. The red shirts, the white shorts get us underway. And they're kicking from left to right. So Wally Chavor. Now Graham Arnold. And this is Zarko Ozhakov. Croatia with plenty of players forward quickly. That time intercepted and away there by Peter Raskopoulos. Now Catholis. This is Gary Phillips for Olympic. Soper's made a run on the far side. Still Marshall Soper. Stopped there by Zarko Ozhakov and pushed down in fact. A free kick for Sydney Olympic. First free kick going to Olympic. Marshall Soper and Zarko Ozhakov who have been in national camp this week. Preparing for the matches against Czechoslovakia. Skopolis with the free kick. Away there by Zarko Ozhakov. Now Graham Arnold. This is David Rezo. Which are trying to break quickly. Zelko Urin offside. Zelko Urin. Score of six goals so far this season. Certainly could be proved to be a danger man this afternoon for Sydney Olympic. For joining me for today's match is former Newcastle and West Adelaide coach and now New South Wales director of coaching Alan Vest. Good afternoon, Alan. This really promises to be quite an exciting yeah, match. Yes, really from the start, uh, both sides have been on attack, so it does. It looks like it's going to be a great game. Now Rezo, some space ahead. Zelko Urin. Tony Dacos was the player coming across. Still Urin getting the cross in. Across the face of goal, an awkward bounce there that completely fooled Gary Meyer and hooked away by Mike Cody for a corner. Yeah, pity there was nobody in the box there for Croatia. That was a uh, great cross, but uh, nobody in the box to finish it off. So a corner on the far side to Sydney, Croatia. This big crowd here at the Croatian Sports Centre. Really making plenty of noise in these early stages. Michael Petkovic. Ladies recoup from Luke Yugoslavia to take this corner, taking it short. Now Zarko Ozhakov floating that one in. Graham Arnold with the header. Stopped there by Spanje Darkis. Now Zelko Urin. Safely taken by Gary Meyer. And a real scramble in that Sydney Olympic goal mouth. Well, really, a uh, couple of chances there and uh, well blocked by uh, Sydney Olympic. They were back in numbers, but uh, both sides looking to get onto attack here. Zelko Urin. Player going through and denied there by Gary Meyer. Aristopoulos. Driving force of the Sydney Olympic side. Calantis finding space on this near touchline. Face there by Wally Chavor. Playing it into the near, near post. No problems for Steve Watson. Or Graham Arnold. Tony Davos in there quickly. Mike Cody, and that came off of Manis Lamond. Seven players playing in our match today who have been in with the national squad during the week preparing for the games against Czechoslovakia. Four for Sydney Olympic. 
Tony Dacos, Peter Escopolis, Marshall Soper, Chris Calantis, three from Sydney, Croatia. Graham Jennings, Graham Arnold, and Zarko Ozhakov. Now this is Manny Spanudakis. Clearance was charged down by Rezo, who's made a run through. Good ball that time by Zelko Urin. Now Rezo, trying to get that one across. This is Manis Lamon. Now Rezo, far post ball, nobody there. Now Petkovic, trying the shot, saved by the feet there of Gary Meyer. Well, Croatia certainly looked to uh, mean business this afternoon. They've had some great breaks, and particularly down the right hand side here. Manis Lamon got that one across. Gary Meyer is off balance okay. and saved it there with his feet. So a throw on the far side to Sydney Olympic. In fact, a free kick's been given. Free kick again. Little Follis was the player brought down. So a free kick for Olympic. Esther Villiot. Catholis. Still Peter Catholis. Thrown on the far side. Peter Catholis still striving to retain the form that he was showing before he left for Greece. It's Catholis again. Now Esther Villiot. Crowded out quickly. Petkovic. Catholis. Phillips can't keep it in on the far side. A throw for Sydney, Croatia. Yeah, I think Peter Catholis is playing in a, in a role that he doesn't particularly like, but he seems to be playing a little bit deeper today, so that might suit him a lot better. Steve Watson, longest serving player here at Sydney, Croatia. Joining Croatia from New South Wales club Granville. Now Wally Shavor. Rezo. Way back by Gary Phillips. These two teams have been high scoring teams this season. Sydney Olympic 28 goals in their 15 matches. And Sydney Croatia 26. Same number of matches. Both teams started off with positive ideas. And that's nice to see. Now Graham Jennings. Graham Jennings who joined Croatia during the off-season from Olympic. And Graham Arnold. Play that one through. Good intercept by Mike Cody. Esther Villiol. And Sopa being pulled back. Three ways play on. Montes. Good challenge by Graham Jennings. Now Zarko Zhakov. Shabor. Good run forward by Rezo. Well read there by the youngster, Manny Spanudakis. Now Phillips, giving that one away. Petkovic. The turn is dispossessed by Peter Escoppins. Now Spanudakis. Phillips. Kalantis. Play there from Rosic. Kalantis. Taken off in by Wally Shavor and Sydney Olympic have got a corner. Yeah, that was surprising to see uh, Vedran Rosic uh, exposed there and coming in to be the uh, the first man on the ball. Chris Kalantis went past him fairly easily. Uh, corner for Sydney Olympic. Tony Dacos has moved forward. Marshall Soap is on the goal line. Dacos has now moved to the near post. Estevillo with the corner. Post ball, looking for Cody, who gets his head to it. Just nods that one down, now Tony Dacos. Estevillo trying the shot. Brilliant save there by Steve Watson. And he gets it at the second attempt. And that was goal bound from that man, Vincente Estevillo. Yeah, good shot, good save from Steve Watson. Couldn't hold it, but uh, got it under control at the second attempt. All started from the corner, Mike Cody there nods it down. Tony Dacos picks up the loose ball, lays it into the path there of Estevillo. Volleyed that one first time, and a good save there by the keeper. Steve Watson, 
Saviour in these early stages for Sydney Croatia. Now Graham Arnold. This is Rezo. Now you're in. Challenge came in from Gary Phillips. Gary Phillips who spends his summer surfing. Former surf champion in New South Wales. Yeah, looks a lot better player in midfield, Mike, as well. I think the last game he played uh, against Croatia was at left back when he had a, an uncomfortable afternoon, really. Let's throw again. And Manis Lamont hooking that one back. Spanyi Darkis with the clearance. Calantis. Stopolis. Cody's made a run on the far side. And Cody leading the charge out of defence, and Lindigo got players forward quickly. Still Mike Cody. Trying to play that one through for Marshall Soper. Kovacic was the player there. And now Petkovic. He's switching from end to end. This is Graham Arnold. So goal scorer this season for Croatia with 11 goals. And now Phillips. Sending Kalensis on his way. Kalensis there. Blocked the shot. Blocked. And Bedran Rozic. Now Wally Shavor. Kalensis again getting the ball across. Too far this time, Soper's had the turn, still Marshall Soper. Trying to take on players, that time stopped by Graham Jennings. Now Petkovic. He's possessed by Soper. Up there, he says referee Jim Reeves. Free kick quickly taken. This is Manis Lamond. Lamond, as we heard, in Soccer Armour on Friday night. He's Brazil bound. Now Shavor. Kovacic. Now Kovacic. Petkovic. Wait there by Cody. And now Raskopoulos. Play that one inside the fullback. The recovery there from Wally Shavor was good. Zarko Zhakov. Now Rezo. Zarko Yuri just fractionally offside. Well, they, seem, to Olympic. they seem to be basing their attacks down this right hand side. They seem to be isolating players and uh, they've looked pretty dangerous at times. Zorko Jurin, the danger man in these early stages for Sydney Croatia. <laughs> Way back with Gary Meyer. Dishes here at the Croatian Sports Centre this afternoon. Absolutely perfect. No wind. Itself is in magnificent condition. Aristopolis. That one inside looking for Catholis. I had clearance there from Graham Jennings. It's Graham Arnold, in fact, who's tied it up and all the way back to his keeper. Graham Arnold, who gets through so much work in the match for Croatia. It's home there, tidying up at the back. Now Kovacic. Petkovic. And that one away, straight to Estevillo. Now Spanjidakis. Intercepted by Zarko or Zhakov. An Olympic now could be exposed. This is Zelko Jorin. Still Jorin. Playing that one in. Gary Meyer comes and gets it at the second attempt. But the keeper there was slipping and sliding. And Manis Lamont was there to pick up the crumbs. Yeah, top run by uh, Manis Lamont. Near post run there. And... Uh, he almost got a touch and uh, it could have been 1 0 to Croatia. But again, a break down the right. Uh, Rezo and Jurin uh, seem to be combining well on this side. So it's a little bit slowing this down. In fact, so that Peter Raskopoulos can replace both his boots that came off and he was chasing back. He's got one on his foot and one in his hand at the moment. Yeah, good to see Peter Iskopoulos uh, really getting back there and defending. He's not uh, renowned to be a great defender, but covered a lot of ground there. Iskopoulos there with some running repairs. And Meyer now gets the ball forward. Sopa. Now Calantis. Esteviliot. 
for example, Zhakov now Mike Cody. This is Gary Phillips. Antis, Phillips. Skills there from the Olympic winger. Once again, trying to play that one inside the fullback, well, making a run. Yeah, I think he might have been better looking to play to the front man to feet there. Zhakov, right there from Phillips. Petkovic on that far side. Le Mans forward. This is Manis Le Mans. Still on side. Still Le Mans with the cross. A testing one. This one for the keeper. And Gary Meyer takes it safely. Yeah, look, very comfortable Gary Meyer. I think he's uh, a little bit underrated, really. He's uh, been a very good keeper for uh, Olympic this year. The longest serving player. Actually played in every match in the very first season of the NSL. That was back in 1977. Calantis. Space in which to move Calantis with the shot. Over the top there from Chris Calantis. Rather ambitious. Chris Calantis would love to score today. Today being his 19th birthday. He made that one from a long way out. And much too high. Certainly the birthday boy would like to celebrate today with a goal. Steve Watson. Been on there by Graham Arnold. So 15 minutes gone, Sydney Croatia nil, Sydney Olympic nil. Cody, Skopoulos, Stavilio, Skopoulos have kept running, tied it up there by Vedran Rosic. Vedran Rosic, such a cool customer at the back, playing with so much experience. Over 700 games for Hydruk Spit. No Slav, international 26 times. And now Croatia can come forward, Rezo, and now Zoko Jorin. Again, Gary Meyer to the rescue. Yeah, again, Rezo on the right here. Got a, quite a bit of room and uh, got a good crossing. To stop by Gary Meyer there. Yeah, Phillips. So for being pulled down. Three, though, ways play on. Kovacic, and that came off of Gary Phillips. Throw on the far side to Sydney Croatia. And Graham Jennings with the throw. Zarko Zhakov. Rosic. Awesome soaker there. Flying header. Just failing to keep that one in. Graham Jennings was there first. Graham Jennings, up against his old teammates. Ogzakov and Soper having a little bit of a, a tiff there. Marshall Soper gets the yellow card. And I thought there it was a little bit unfortunate. Zarko Zhakov and Marshall Soper were the two players involved. Sober gets the yellow card. The referee, in fact, has given Croatia a free kick. Just shows you they've probably been training with each other this week in the national camp, those two. Well, there was the initial clash. The yellow card wasn't for that, it was something that went on afterwards. So now Phillips, Cody, Kovacic. Vedran Rosic. And now Rezo, and again finding space on this near touchline. Sydney Olympic at the moment are down to 10 men with Peter Eskopoulos off, replacing his boots. Rezo with the cross. Petkovic! Petkovic! And Petkovic kicks the score. The goal coming after 18 minutes. Yeah, brilliant header there by uh, Petkovic. Uh, Rezo found himself again with a lot of space on the right. Great cross. What a, a marvellous header. Pavel Petkovic 
Only his fifth match this afternoon for Sydney Croatia. That's his second goal, and it's one that could be priceless. A long cross in from Rezo. Petrovic climbs well, a good header. Gary Meyer gets his hands to it, but he can't keep it out. And 18 minutes gone now in the first half. Sydney Croatia 1, Sydney Olympic 0. That all started with a good ball out of defence by Vedran Rosic that certainly opened up Sydney Olympic. Sydney Olympic, the league leaders, now trial by a goal. Estevillo. Now Mike Cody. Aristopoulos. Shot going right across the face of goal. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised at uh, Sydney Olympic uh, leaving Estevillo spare on this uh, side against Rezo because he, he's not the greatest of defenders. He's a playmaker and uh, he seems to be getting caught with Rezo getting behind him. Cody, now it's Davilio, Palantis, Kovacic was the player coming across, winning the challenge, Marian Kovacic, and now Zelko Jorin, Jorin there, faced by Spanudakis, being pulled back in fact by the youngster, so a free kick for Sydney Croatia, let's cross now to Les on the sideline. Ron Corey from Croatia is with me. Ron, uh, good goal, was it deserved? Excellent goal, yes, I think we deserved it. We'd had a couple of bounces just go the wrong way in the box before and I think we deserved to get the goal at that time. OK, now you're going to hold on to this or you're going to go for more? Well, no, we'll just continue to play our normal game. If we end up with a couple more, it'll be very good. Thanks, Ron. So a goal kick for Sydney Olympic. In fact, a free kick for an offside decision. So now Martin Rogers. Sydney Croatia are unbeaten at home this season. Their last league loss here at the Croatian Sports and you have to go back to the 30th of September 1984. That's 18 matches ago, so they've got an impressive record here. Of course, Sydney Olympic unbeaten this season in the league. That's what's over there, penalised for the challenge on Zarko Zhakov. That's what's over there. Seeming to go in over the ball. Zarko Zhakov certainly not impressed. Here's the challenge. It's over there, just catching Zarko Zhakov on the ankle. Yeah, it looked a little bit uh, of a naughty tackle, but uh, I think he's making a little bit uh, too much of it, probably. So a free kick on that far side to Sydney, Croatia. Off the head there of Mike Cody. Pulled back that time by Graham Arnold. Yeah, I think unless Sydney Olympic start doing something about this side, uh, Mike, they're going to be in, in more trouble. Jurin's pushing inside and pulling the full-back right in, and it's leaving Re Rezo spare, and uh, Estevillo's not really picking him up. Sopa. This time Sopa was the player who was challenged. Sopa gets forward. Skopelis with the free kick. Away there by Vedran Rosic. Zolko Yoni. Rosic. Zhakov. It's possessed there by Raskopoulos. Now Sopa. Marshall Sopa. Kalantis. Hang off the Croatian player. And Sydney Olympic have got a corner. Yeah, they've been a little bit quiet in the last 10 minutes, Sydney Olympic, but uh, still looked uh, pretty good on the breaks and they, they get in the odd corner so uh, they're still in this game so that's the video the player to take the corner again Dacos and Sopra at the near post now Catholis. far post ball and there by Graham Arnold and he's back helping his defenders Viscopoulos Calantis goes down still away and now Viscopoulos getting behind the defence Cross was charged down by Graham Arnold. Yeah. Skopoulos there got behind the defence. Graham Arnold defending tremendously well there, but it's good to see uh, Peter Skopoulos getting forward a lot. That time he was too far forward and caught offside. Graham Arnold. Who seems to cover every blade of grass on every pitch every week. It's for a tremendous amount of work. Warren 
leading times now for Olympic coach Manfred Schaefer's side leading by goal to nil. Rogers. It's on the far side with Manis Lamont. Throw goes to Sydney Olympic. Taken there by Martin Rogers. Yeah, it's been a little bit quiet so far, Manis Lamond. Uh, I think uh, that's the way they're playing, though. It's a little bit more congested on that side. So Dacos. Said to there by Kovacic. Forward by Cody. And Jennings tidying up at the back. And Jennings, who expects to become a father in the next couple of weeks. And Kovacic. Mr. Villiol, Palantis, Aristopoulos, put from behind by Zarko Shakov, free kick, goes to Sydney Olympic. Aristopoulos, now Catholis. Catholis, with Sopa. Oh, Phillips, in fact, is the player caught offside. Marshall Sober has been very closely marked this afternoon, as one would expect. Yeah, in fine form. He scored in the last couple of matches. He has been playing well, Marshall Sober, the last two or three weeks. Gary Phillips there was the player called offside. Roscopoulos, and you get a touch up, or Jakov. Antis was in there quickly. Esther Villiol. A good one too there with Catholis. Redrum Rosic. Shavor all the way back to his keeper. Shavor. He adapted well to the right back position. This season for Sydney Croatia. Now Kovacic. Are you looking for Zelko Jurin? He's there by Spanji Darkis. Jurin around the young fullback. Jurin with the cross. Just behind the byline and away for a goal kick. Was Elko Yuri looking so sharp and fast this afternoon? Again, that time going past the young fullback. It was a good cross. Just floating there behind the byline and away for a goal kick. Yeah, he did well again. He's got a fair turn of pace uh, as Jordan. and he had a, held his ground well and came into a, a lot of space and eventually got round uh, the fullback. His cross wasn't wasn't the best. Shakov. Shakov. Pitch the goal scorer. Pitch game. It's there by Gary Phillips. Lamont. Two players in attendance. Comes off of Gary Phillips. And Sydney Croatia have got a corner on the far side. Yeah, surprising really, it's, it's very, very tight on the uh, uh, Croatia's left-hand side there. They don't seem to have much room at all, and yet on the right they're creating all sorts of problems. So Petkovic can take this corner. That's in the near post for Zelko Juren. Well read there by Tony Dacos. Now Jennings. Petkovic with space on that far side. Lifting it forward. Rogers was the player to the rescue for Olympic. And Rogers, who started his career in England with Manchester United, spells at Reading and the Queen's Park Rangers. Joined Olympic back in 1982. Kovacic, just possessed there by Estevillio. Still Estevillio. Jack off there, picking up the loose ball. Sydney Olympic giving the ball away in to be some dangerous positions again Carlos trying to play that one back to Phillips Shakov is in there quickly and now Zelko Jorin Jorin face there by the keeper Zelko Jorin 2-0 yeah real opportunist goal there by uh, Zelko Jorin 
Zerko Yuring gets his seventh goal of the season and the goal coming after 28 minutes. But really, one has got to say that was a comedy of errors from Sydney Olympic. They gave the ball away. And Zelko Urin in the end is the player who can get on the end of it. The ball's played through. Zelko Urin there gets away from Mike Cody. Gets a favourable bounce here from Gary Meyer. Pushes it past the keeper into an empty net. 28 minutes gone now in this first half. Sydney Croatia 2, Sydney Olympic 0. Yeah, definitely right though, Mike. The Sydney Olympic trying to play sm uh, little passes in, in the bad areas of the park, giving the ball away too many times and paying the penalty for it. This ground hasn't been a happy hunting ground for Sydney Olympic, of course. One remembers their match here last year when Croatia won by five goals to nil. Certainly now Olympic unbeaten this season in the league. Really up against it, training by two goals to nil. Apophilus, Phillips, now Cody, in fact Rogers, it's a player appearing on that far side. And he's the player making the run through, and Bedroom Rosic again, cool under pressure, playing it all the way back to Steve Watson. Support. Kovacic, Jennings, Phillips, now Rogers, Stavillio, Phillips with a run forward, Mike Cody there appearing in the centre forward position, Sopa, brought down, 30 minutes gone in this first half, Sydney Croatia 2, Sydney Olympic 0. Yeah, I think uh, Olympic will start throwing one or two people forward now. They've uh, conceded two goals early on and uh, they've nothing to lose at this stage. So Dacos has gone forward, as has Mike Cody. Make sure pulled everybody back. Skopolis with the free kick, away there by Fogsic. Matt Follis. Coming wide for Calantis. Offside. Yeah, it's a vital quarter of an hour now for Sydney Olympic. They could do with pulling a goal back before half time if they're going to stay in this game. Again, they got caught across. there. Two players against one. Lamont. Came in for Manny Spaniadakis. Throw again for Croatia. to this other side by Martin Rogers. He gets away from him and then away from Estevillo. Good skills there from Manis Lamont. Yeah, did well. Centre was blocked by Spanidakis. So a corner for Croatia. A sparkling display of skills there from Manis Lamont. Corner looking for Graham Arnold and now Zarko and Zhakov. Zhakov trying to make the yard of space for the shot. Tied it up eventually by Mike Cody and all the way back to Gary Meyer. Mike Cody, the organiser of this Olympic defence. Enough on that occasion. Macalantis. Skopolis needs somebody wide. Comes Manny Spanudakis. Sopas forward. Spanudakis. Calentis on the far side. Falls nicely now for Estevillo. Now Calentis. It's possessed there by Graham Arnold. Phillips. Two players for a win. Caught offside. Yeah, they don't seem to be making any uh, headway in there, Sydney Olympic. They uh, seem to be persisting in playing short passes when a longer one would have been better. got two players up there with a good deal of speed in Sopa and Kalantis and they don't seem to be getting the ball to them. Sopovic scored the first goal coming after 18 minutes. Graham Arnold. Zhakov. Shabor. Poyuri is the player caught offside. 
Yeah, I thought it was a bit unfortunate there as well. Now Kovacic. Rezo. That's Ben Yudakis. Dispossessed there by Rezo. Three on the next two situation. Rezoko, you're in. You're in the player court offside. Good, a good touch and go decision as well, Alan. Yeah, I just, again, I've got to harp on that. I can't understand Sydney Olympic uh, exposing Estevilla here defensively. I mean, he's a good player on the ball, but uh, he's a player who wants to get a bit of space for himself rather than having to think about picking up and, and tracking players down. That was Scopolis. Sopa. Chavall was in there first. Now Petkovic. He's spare again, Rezo. Petkovic. Carried on running. Cody was the player across. Petkovic there falling awkwardly. Staying down. Now Tony Dacos. Sopa. Chakov was back. Playing there by Chavall. Now Petkovic can get some treatment. Yeah, looked to twist his knee, I think, there, Mike. On the ball. And he seemed to fall awkwardly as well. Yeah. Well, here's the incident. Cody was the player coming across. Yeah. Petkovic there, falling heavily and awkwardly. So the magic spray. Certainly for this very big crowd at the Croatian Sports Centre. Very entertaining first 35 minutes. Play from end to end. The Croatian fans, of course, the news is even better. Pekovic is being taken off. Doctors out there having a look at him. He's going to carry on. Commences. And Zarko Jakov. Rezo again finding space. Now Kovacic. Accepted there by Dacos. Raskopoulos. And this direct pass from Raskopoulos. Zarko Jakov. Zarko Yuri was the player caught offside. Yeah, I think this has been one of the, um, the worst points about the game for Olympic this afternoon, their uh, possession, the passing's been uh, poor, normally it's very good, today, well, they're down a little bit at the moment. And he's there with the wild ball inside, eventually rescued there by Marshall Sober. now it's the Villiol. It's the Villiol running into trouble and stopped, and Zarko Jakov with space in which to operate. Which made a run on that far side, and the ball went behind him. Problems for Gary Phillips. Matisse there trying to play a one-two with Follis. And Arnold battling away in the middle of the park. He breaks nicely now for Sopa. Now Raskopoulos. Back for Marshall Sopa. Placed there by Shavor. Raskopoulos making himself available. It's the Villio. Trying the shot and scoring. What a goal from Vincenzo Estevillo. Well, he scored some spectacular goals this season, but you won't see one better than that. Yeah, that was a great shot and just what Sydney Olympic needed. A couple of minutes before half time, and uh, I think that gets them really back into the game. But what a tremendous drive from 25 yards by Estevillo. And that's when he really looks a good player. There's the video there, picking up the loose ball, which came off of Raskopoulos and tries it. That's dipping and swerving into the top corner, off the post. And 37 minutes gone now in the first half. Sydney Croatia 2, Sydney Olympic 1. Vincente Estevillo, his fourth goal of the season. So the Olympic fans there behind the Croatian goal. The flags are waving. And they're happy. The team are back in this match. Yeah, it was out of the blue, really, because uh, they've not played as well as they can do, Sydney Olympic, but that's just what they needed, and that's what the game's all about. Mr. Villio went close earlier in this match, and brought a good save from the keeper. This time he went one better. 
Akalantis. Phillips. Akalantis keeping it in on that far side. Akalantis with the cross. Away there by Rosic. Now Phillips. Akalantis again. Free kick for Olympic. Well, it just shows what a goal can do for you. Sydney Olympic now look uh, full of confidence. Now Phillips with the cross in. Valentese with the shot, and he didn't collect that at all. And saving to the keeper. Certainly a spark and a bounce in the feet now of Sydney Olympic. Valentese here. Still able to get hold of it. Be taken there by the keeper. Shabor. There's Oko Jorin. Playing that one into space. Nobody that far forward though for Croatia. But again, there were spaces on the left hand side of the Sydney Olympic defence. Yeah, I think it was a good ball as well, really. I think uh, Le Mans might have done a little bit better if it had uh, come on a, a near post run or towards the near post. Catholis, a free waving play on Catholis with the cross, a bit too high for Marshall Sopa. Kostopoulos, trying the shot, dispossessed there by Zarko Jakov. In turn is dispossessed by Marshall Sopa. Now Kostopoulos, Esther Villio. Marshall Sopa's down. A little bit of a clash again between him and Zarko Ozikov. I think he just uh, nudged him as the ball had gone. Sofa was in doubt for this match, picking up an injury during the training camp with the national team during the week. He's had a couple of clashes this afternoon with Zarko Zhakov. And Marshall Sofa was booked for an earlier challenge. Zarko Zhakov there, just pushed off the ball by Marshall Sofa. Sofa plays it, and Zarko Zhakov kept on at Marshall Sofa, only finished up on the deck. Sydney Olympic definitely come to life now. They're looking for the equaliser. This Mike Cody. He started off this game as a sweeper, Mike Cody. Now an old-fashioned centre forward position. Stop us. Trying to get behind the defence. Overrunning the ball. Another play for a goal kick. Daniel Scopolis over 200 NSL appearances. Uh, who made his debut back in 1977 as a 15 and a half year old. So Watson. Wojciechow. Petkovic. Wojciechow. There, just failing to keep it on the far side. A throw for Sydney Olympic. So Dacos. Rogers. To return there from Calantis. Still Martin Rogers. Took as he went through. The ball run kindly though for Olympic. Now Cody. Estevillo. We shall now pull everybody back with the exception of Manis Lamond. Dacos. Phillips. Stopolis. Kuro Stopolis. Calantis. Stopolis. Follows. Follows. Needed too long. Should have struck that one a lot earlier. Phillips. Shabor, away there by Rosic. That was a good move by Olympic. The follow surely should have done better. Stanley Darkus there, caught by Zelko Jurin. Phillips. Now Rogers. Antis, Rogers. 
switching from end to end. Nice to see two sides committed to attacking soccer. Cody stops that challenge. Now Rogers. Loading that one in, looking for Marshall Soper, who takes it nicely on his chest. Still Soper. Tried the volley and missed. Spenny Darkis. Tremendous pressure this from Sydney Olympic. Esther Villio. Now Soper. Soper trying the shot. Safely taken there by Steve Watson. But at the moment it's all Sydney Olympic. Push forward now, looking for the equaliser. Marshall Soper. Nice ball control. The shot there, not really having the power that he wanted. Now Rezzo. Looks in the way for Olympic. Now Roscopoulos. Still Peter Roscopoulos. Phillips. Follis. It's possessed there by Rosic. Petkovic. Still Petkovic. Lamont, Graham Arnold's move forward, still Lamont, placed there by Dacos, Lamont, unable to pull that one back, but again some good skills from Manis Lamont, tantalising the Sydney Olympic defenders, past Tony Dacos, just couldn't pull it back enough. So, Spanidakis. Now watch, the 45 minutes are up. We're now playing stoppage time at the end of the first half. What a first half it's been. Croatia taking the lead after 18 minutes. Ivor Petkovic, second goal for his new club in just five matches. Croatia then went further ahead after 28 minutes. And Zolko Jurin, his seventh goal of the season. Since then, it's been a fight back from Sydney Olympic. Sensational goal coming after 37 minutes. Vincenzo Estavillo, his fourth of the season. Support with a clearance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Final game for Sydney Olympic. Free Jim Reeves. Checks both his watches. Marshall Soap is the player upended. A free kick for Olympic. Play 60 seconds of stoppage time at the end of the first half. So Roscopoulos. Taking the free kick. Far post ball. Away there by Graham Arnold. Esther Villio, as the half time whistle goes. A good, entertaining, and exciting first 45 minutes. The Sydney Croatia leading by two goals to one. Certainly entertainment plus for this big crowd here at the Croatian Sports Centre. The half-time scoreline, Sydney Croatia 2, Sydney Olympic 1. So let's cross now to Les Murray. Thank you, Michael. Yes, uh, Alan Vest is with me now. 2-1 the scoreline to Sydney Croatia, Alan. So on analysing that first half, uh, it was certainly Croatia all the way from the beginning, but uh, now Olympic could very well make a game of it. Yeah, I think Croatia definitely on top until that goal out the blue uh, by Estevilla. And uh, since then, uh, Olympic have really been back in the game and probably been a little bit unlucky uh, not to equalise. Now, it didn't look as though it was Olympic's day at all until then. What was the problem? Well, I thought the problem uh, was on this right-hand side. I, I think they've got to move Estevilla. I think uh, defensively, he's been the problem with Rezo uh, getting through on the right and Durin. Obviously, he's a top player when he's on the ball, and uh, if, if it was me, I think I'd switch him and uh, Gary Phillips uh, so that maybe they can contain this Croatia attack down the right. Now, also remarkably, the midfield was controlled by Croatia rather than that spa star spangled midfield of Olympic. Yeah, well, we were commenting up there. Uh, I think Sydney Olympic, uh, their possession and their passing wasn't as good as it normally is and they, were, they seem to be doing it in bad areas. Uh, the second goal came from this type of play where they uh, had possession two or three times and played short passing uh, or tried to play the short passing game in a bad area, got the balls cut out and, uh, and Jordan was in there and, and made it 2-0. All right, now given what has to be done, what would be your prediction now? Um, well, it's surprising what how a goal can change a game. Uh, Olympic, as I said, they looked dead until that goal. Uh, I think they could well come back now, uh, maybe uh, 
just to force a draw, but uh, I think maybe a draw could be a fair result now. All right, thank you, Alan. Well, half-time at the uh, match of the day is 2-1 to Sydney, Croatia. We'll take a short break and return with the second half. So welcome back to the Croatian Sports Centre for the start of this second half. Sydney Olympic who have made one change during the half-time break and that is replacing Peter Cathalas with Stuart Johnston. Sydney Croatia unchanged and that's the scoreline as the second half gets underway. Sydney Croatia 2, Sydney Olympic 1. And certainly umbrellas now the order of the day here at the Croatian Sports Centre. Start of the rain during the half-time break. I'm sure it won't dampen the enthusiasm of this very good sized crowd here at the Croatian Sports Centre. Stuart Johnson, the player who's come on for the start of this second half. Johnston on the ball. Now Rogers. Phillips. Now Mike Cody. And for Soper. Officic there with a the headed clearance. Estevillo. Calantes. Is it wide? Nobody in particular. Graham Arnold there for Croatia. Le Mans. Jennings. That one away straight to Gary Phillips. Sopers forward. Yeah, forward in fact at the moment for Olympic. Royce de Villiot. Calantes. Skopoulos has got forward. Skopoulos. And a handball, and the penalty is given. Handball there. Referee Jim Reeves had absolutely no doubt, and the penalty is immediately given. Sensational start to the second half. Pedro Rosic there, disappointed. Do be in business. Uh, at the start of the second half, they'd been on attack all the time. Felt that was a little bit uh, unfortunate for Pedro Rosic. It looked to hit him rather than uh, him play the ball, but uh, they're the breaks in the game. So Estevillo to take this penalty. Gary Phillips, in fact, is a regular penalty taker for Olympic, and he scored twice this season from the spot. But Estevillo, who scored Olympic's first goal, is the player to take this penalty. So Estevillo, and he's missed it. The goalkeeper has saved it. Good save as well. It was. Uh, Placed in the corner, probably not hit as hard as it should, but uh, well done Steve Watson. Steve Watson there, the hero, keeping out this penalty, pushing it around the post for a corner. The referee's given the corner, he's got a yellow card in his hand, and he's given it to Stuart Johnson, the player who's only been on for three minutes as a substitute. That's a good start for him, Mark. So the penalty miss. After 47 minutes, to prove costly to Sydney Olympic. It's the Villiers, the player to take this corner, it's the player who missed the penalty. It's the Villiers with the corner. Curling this one in, fisted away there by the keeper who's under a lot of pressure. Now Zarko is Jakob. Well, the surprising games between these two sides, they seem to have everything. Uh, we've had incidents at both ends, and uh, it's still anybody's game, really. Well, these two teams met earlier this season. Zelko Jorin, the player on the ball now, Mr. Penalty at Pratton Park. The game finishing up there in a 0 0 draw. And now, Manis Lamont, Petkovic, 3 1. Sydney Croatia's first attack in the second half. And Petkovic is the player who scores his second of the afternoon. The chance initially came to Manis Lamon, but the ball broke nicely for that man, Petkovic. He scores his third goal for his new club. But it all started when Zelko Jura in there broke out of defence from inside his own half, squared it across, and Manis Lamon here was quickly closed down, but the ball run kindly to Petkovic into an empty goal. And 48 minutes gone. Sydney Croatia 3, Sydney Olympic 1. He got a good break there, did uh, Manis Lamont. In fact, it was a Sydney Olympic player that played the ball to Petkovic 
but uh, well, well taken. It was again a break down the right though, and uh, I'd be worried if uh, if I was Manfred Schaefer about that uh, right hand side of Croatia's. Well, what a funny game! Olympic had the opportunity to equalise. They missed the penalty from the ensuing corner. Croatia can break and go further ahead. Stuart Johnston. It's there by Wally Shavor, who's doing some obstructing. Free kick to Olympic on that far side. Well, I think we'll see Sydney Olympic pushing men forward again now, as they did in the first half when they went behind two goals. So that's the Villiers. So we go by Bedrin Rosic, only as far as Roscopoulos. Now Gary Phillips trying the shot. Wide there from Gary Phillips. And Gary Phillips has scored a couple of goals this season, both from the penalty spot. Ready for that duty this afternoon. Trying the step shot there, which is always going wide. Shabor forward. Zarko Urin seems to have the legs of the young fullback. That time though, doing some pushing. So a free kick on the far side to Sydney Olympic. Croatian supporters absolutely delighted with that scoreline that shows their team leading by three goals to one. And right next to them, the Olympic fans who at the moment have got very little to cheer about. Well, we've said what a crazy game soccer is, as we said, the uh, Olympic should have been level, and then within a minute, two down again. It'd be a very brave man to put any money on the result finishing 3-1, with both of these sides now committed for all-out attack. Throw on the far side to Sydney, Croatia. Zarko Jonin. Zarko by Spanjidakis. for Croatia beaten at this ground since the 30th of September 1984 that's 18 matches ago now Graham Arnold way there by Martin Rogers tied it up by Gary Phillips all the way back for Gary Meyer so that doing well to keep that one in so now Olympic needs some magic for Marshall Sober but at the moment they've got to do some defending this is Rezo play there by Spanjidakis the run but conceded the corner Tony Dacos trots back his defensive role as his corner's quickly taken now Manis Lamont Zarko Jacon Rizzo who by Phillips Zarko Jacob Petkovic Flag was very late going up. Yeah, I thought it was too. Petkovic, scorer of a couple of goals this afternoon. The player caught offside. Now Kalantis. Problems this time for Vedran Rosic. Rogers. Stuart Johnston. Good by Graham Jennings. The throw goes to Olympic. That's the video. Lord. Andrew Petkovic, 25 years old. The game today, in fact, is the injury to Antonio Mora. As I'll tell you, in. Spenny Dark is there giving that one away. Zarko Jakov throw on the far side to Sydney Croatia Petkovic Vedran Rosic he's been intercepted though by Mike Cody Sydney Olympics start warming up their other substitute Terry Patalis and Gary Phillips Valentis running into trouble away from that challenge and Mike 
Cody. Moskopoulos. Cody. Estevillo. Still Estevillo. Soper. Surrounded there by red shirt. Still Soper. Still got a shot in with not the power that he wanted. Nobody following through though for Olympic. Now that's where Marshall Soper looks a good player. That's why I can't understand a lot of the time why he plays wide up front. He's a very good player with his back to goal, just outside the box. So for again called offside. So Olympic style push players more and more forward. Oh, Cody now. Oh, there's an out and out attacking midfielder. Yeah, that might be better for them, Mike, uh, with Cody going on that left side. They might uh, reduce that space a little bit on the right there. So it's going for Croatia on the far side. Skopoulos. Video. Petkovic. Lead there by Spanyudakis. Forward by Reza. Spanyudakis again. Skopoulos. Nice in the Olympic need the leadership of Pedro Skopoulos. Experienced player. Here's again. Just lifting this one forward. Rosic and player at the back for Croatia. side. Rozhakov a lot more involved this week than he was last week against Arpia. His involvement in the Croatia looked a lot much better side. Well, this is a vital spell for Sydney Olympic now. They need to try and get back into this game by a goal. Davos through that challenge. It breaks nicely now for Zarko Yuri. Zarko Rozhakov, Graham Arnold, that was a touch and go decision as well. Graham Arnold was the player who just had been offside. Sydney Olympic got caught four against two there. Very, very fortunate to get out of it. Now, Mike Cody. It's the video. Up the loose ball. Was it still before Laskopoulos? Now Manis Lamond. Dacos reading that situation well. Laskopoulos. Now Stuart Johnston. Kalantis. Pulling that one back. Nobody there for Olympic. Petkovic there with the clearance. Or Jakov. And now Rosic. Sydney Croatia there playing themselves out of trouble well. Now Zelko Jorin. Away there from Spanier Darkis. Problems again for Sydney Olympic. Graham Arnold chasing through. Gary Maher out there quickly. Croatia there played themselves out of trouble from their own six-yard box and created the chance at the other end, Alan. Well, I think uh, Olympic's going to get themselves in, in trouble if they push men forward and uh, don't snatch a goal because they're getting caught on the break with... Uh, yeah, Phillips. On the way along the ground. No problems though for Steve Watson. Cody. Scopulous. That's the video. Scopulous. Phillips. Cody. Right there by Kovacic. Spendiadakis. Olympic now got plenty of players forward. The best of all is though from Peter Ruskopoulos. Straight to Kovacic. Now Graham Arnold. Manis Lamond is the player caught offside. Yeah, good play by Rodgers there. An experienced player and uh, just moved at the right moment. Here is Rodgers. Antis. It's possessed. It breaks nicely now for Manis Lamond. Lamond, face there. Kalensis, and there's the video. Throw goes to Sydney Olympic. Vincente Estevillo. Big fortunes in this match. Scored a spectacular goal. And missed a penalty. 
Quick time ping, trying to score about five yards on a throw in. Dacos, Jim Rogers. Sam Arnold, all the way back to his keeper. Dacos, as far as Arnold. Joe Urien and Manus Lamont, the game caught offside. The game was only fractionally. 60 minutes gone in this match. Sydney Croatia 3, Sydney Olympic 1. Moskopoulos. Well, Olympic throwing caution to the wind a little bit. Probably they've got to at this stage. Throw to Olympic on that far side. <laughs> throw from Tony Dacos. Or Jakov. The sandwich there between Orzhakov and Graham Arnold on Estevillo. So a free kick to Olympic. This could be just about in range for Vicente Estevillo. It's been a spectacular goal from about this range earlier on in the season against Sydney City. Sydney Croatia with a three man wall. Firing times now for Steve Watson, the Croatia keeper. Estevillo curling that one and just a bit too high. Just over the top there from Vincente Estevillo. Great effort though. Terrific striker of the ball, this fella. It's curling and dipping. Doesn't dip quite far enough. He seems to be more in the play as well this half. He's moved from that. Um, left side midfield position to a more central position and looks a lot more comfortable. Phillips. Still Gary Phillips. Stopless. Now Stuart Johnston. Shavall was the player going across. And we can see it in the free kick. So the free kick to Olympic. Chance now for Tony Dacos to go forward. Steve Watson, the Croatia keeper, being under a lot of pressure. There's a lot of Olympic players in the box. Skoblis with this free kick. The head there is Zarko or Xhaka. Palantis. Play it back to Phillips. Well read there by Ozhakov. Jennings. Coming off with. Stavillo, Uruguayan international. Shakov, Kovacic, just possessed there by Marshall Soper. Now Phillips. Cos. Martin Rogers. Johnston. Wait there by Savor. Bacos. Now permanently camped in the Croatia half. Cody. Stavillo. Calantis. It's there by Graham Jennings. Cody. Still Mike Cody. Good challenge from Reggie Rosic. Reggie Rosic, the captain coach of Sydney, Croatia. Indicating now he wants to make a substitution. Shane Clinch is the player to come on. Player to go off is Manis Lamont. Well, Olympic throwing loads of players forward into the box now. Um, they have done for the last five or ten minutes. Um, uh, they've been pressing Croatia. It's a goal they need at this stage. Croatia have brought on a midfielder and taken off an attacker. Mr. Villio with the corner for Olympic. This one across, right there by Vedran Rosic. Petkovic, Shane Clinch with his first touch. Rogers, now Phillips, back to Rogers. Olympic, still with plenty of players forward. Stuart Johnston, with the free kick, nothing given. Yeah, Shane I think, Clinch. I think it's sometimes harder, Mike, when you throw a lot of players forward like that to, uh, to get the clear openings that you need. 
you've not as much space because there's a lot of players in a congested area. Jakov there tidying up and all the way back to his keeper. Experience showing there. Jakov talking to some of the younger players in the team. Yeah, I think he's looked a very good player today, uh, as Jakov. He's uh, had a quiet season, but he seems to be coming more into his own now. And that could be a good omen for the national team. Calentis. Scopolis as he went past him. Can't believe that decision. The free kick's been given and taken. And again, Sydney Olympic in, in a bad area there. Trying to play short stuff out of uh, a very congested area. Johnston there, penalised. The challenge on Brian Jennings. Johnson went hard on this challenge on Graham Jennings. Got Jennings' legs as he played the ball. So now it's to Villiol. It's possessed by Zarko Jakov. Shane Clinch. Petkovic. Petkovic. Rosic again available at the back. The long ball forward. And Mike Cody there for Olympic. Now Rogers. And it breaks nicely though for Graham Arnold. Or Jacob. Zarko or Jacob. Now Zelko Urin. And he's onside. Dacos is the player at the back. Still Dacos and Zelko Urin on that far side. Eventually it's Manny Spanudakis who can get the ball away. Let's cross now to Les on the sideline. Ron Corry is with me again. Ron, you're obviously happy with the scoreline. Why the change uh, clinch with Manus? Oh, I'd say it's just uh, we've lost a little bit of the midfield there and with a 3-1 lead we probably want to consolidate a bit in midfield because uh, Olympic are exerting quite a bit of pressure so it's just to strengthen up in the midfield there. Thank you, Ron. Well, Martin Rogers. Should we clinch? Hold on, as we heard, to reinforce their midfield. Phillips. Spanudakis with space on that far side. Stuart Johnson. Good cross in. Behind Arsham Soper now. Alantis, he's shot his charge down. Rogers. Alantis. Going back to goal. For Wally Chavor was blocked. Cool under pressure there. Playing it out to Zarko Jacob. Yeah, that's the problem though with Olympic by uh, pushing a lot of players forward, uh, players getting in each other's way, and, uh, the space is not there. Now Zelko Jorin behind the defence. Cody concedes the corner. Olympic there were exposed and very nearly caught. Yeah, that's what usually happens. They uh, they get dragged in, they get dragged forward, the, 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 the ball breaks down and then a quick break and uh, it's problems at the other end. So corner for Croatia, Gary Meyer organises defenders. Croatia pushing two men forward from this corner. Still kept back Vedran Rosic and Kovacic as this corner comes across from Shane Clinch. Gary Meyer out and taking it safely. Stuart Johnston. Stuart Johnston, in fact, who scored goals in the first five matches this season. The player on the ball. The scoring has dried up a bit since then. Still doing well there to retain possession. Not the best of balls. Phillips. Now Raskopoulos. Phillips. Gary Phillips caught. Petkovic. Yeah, he's impressed me, uh, Mike, this Petkovic. Apart from him scoring his two goals, he's, he's worked very hard and he's closed people down quickly. Esther Villiol. Now Martin Rogers. Esther Villiol. Cody. That came off of Petkovic. 
So I'll throw force in the Olympic. Calantis. The head there is Sofa. Nobody forward though for Olympic. No problems from Vedran Rosic. Zoko Jurin trying to run through. Well, Croatia playing with just one one man up now, but uh, he's a quick lad, is this Jurin, and uh, anything long there has got a chance. Cody, oh, I the champion. Esther Villio, Sopa. Croatia got plenty of players back. Skopolis. Stuart Johnston. It was rather ambitious of Stuart Johnston, and he really didn't collect it the way he wanted. Again there, a case of too many cooks spoil the broth. Yeah, I think Olympic there had uh, five or six players in and around the box, but obviously uh, Croatia had six or seven, and uh, if that's the pattern of the game, I can't see uh, Sydney Olympic uh, getting through. Croatia is the chant around the Croatian Sports Centre. Croatia have got a free kick. Croatia supporters, flags waving, certainly in good voice. And they'll win here this afternoon. We'll put them back to the top of the Northern Division. Side flag up against Graham Arnold. Graham Arnold, who we haven't seen too much of this afternoon in attack. He certainly got through a lot of work, a lot of cover, defending work at that. Elozic. Zarko Zhakov. Now it's the video. Phillips. It's the video. Shabor again across. Chavor, his international debut in that position as a right back. P. King back in 1984. The Socceroos lost to China by three goals to two. So he looked very much at home in that position this season. Throw. The far side to Sydney, Croatia. Yeah, I think he's going to need another bit of Estavilia magic to uh, get back into this game, like right? the way the game's going at the moment. Spenny Dakis. We're going to make a substitution at any minute with Terry Patalis, the player to come on. Mr. Villio. Stopped there by Kovacic. Dakos. Shusoka again, beaten to the ball that time by Vedran Rosic. Phillips. Now Phillips. Koyorin, Arnold's made a run forward, now Petkovic, and now Graham Arnold, and that really was a very dodgy decision, that one. Well, I, yeah, I'd have said he wasn't off, but uh, the linesman's probably in a better position than we are. But... It really was touch and go, though. Remember, of course, the rule says it's when the ball is played, not when he gets the ball. Graham Jennings there, turning to the back of Chris Clancis. Yeah, I can't understand Chris Kalansis staying out wide on the right uh, here. He's a very, very good player on the left side, and uh, I think that's where they could win the game if they could get the ball out to him on the left side. Well, Terry Patalis is the player that comes on. And then Spanyudakis is the player that comes off. So an attacking player replacing the defender. Harry Phillips will now slot into the left-back position, I'm sure. Skopolis takes the free kick. Away there by Graham Arnold. Now Petkovic. Now Zelko Yorin. Takes there by Dacos. Still Zelko Yorin. Denied by Gary Meyer. 4 1. Zelko Yorin, the scorer. The goal coming after 74 minutes. Zoko Yuring gets his second of the afternoon, his eighth of the season. But Sydney Olympic there were caught. Zoko Yuring got away from Tony Dacos, denied initially by Gary Meyer, got a favourable bounce and blasted into an empty net. And 74 minutes gone, 
Sydney Croatia 4, Sydney Olympic 1. Yeah, and I think they'll get, keep getting caught uh, if they keep playing as they are doing by pushing all the men forward into the front third and they have just no way of getting through and then the quick break makes them so vulnerable. So now with Skopolis. So throw for Sydney Olympic. Still Martin Rogers, caught there by Vedran Rosic. Free kick to Olympic. Well, the ten men or eight men forward there again, but nowhere to go. Stuart Johnston just failing to get a touch. So 15 minutes left of this match. Sydney Croatia four, Sydney Olympic one, and Sydney Olympic have got a corner. Post ball. And Stuart Johnston was the player nodding it down. There's so many blue shirts there. It's ironic it didn't go to one of them. Esther Villiard. Now Terry Patalis. Right there by Steve Watson. Sarko Jakov. Throw goes to Olympic. Stuart Johnston rolling this one in, fisted away there by Steve Watson. Phillips. Now Sopa. Played by Kovacic. Now Aristopoulos. Now Sopa. Yeah, very, very tight there. I can't see Sydney Olympic scoring at all uh, whilst they. Uh, carry on with uh, six and seven men forward like that. Well, it's Sydney Olympic who are putting on all the pressure in this match. I'm sure if somebody walked in about 25 minutes ago and was watching this game, they'd find it hard to believe that Croatia were leading by four goals to one, because it's all Sydney Olympic, except for where it really counts, and that's on goals. Jennings with this throw. Esther Villiard. And Sopa. Caught there, the challenge with Graham Jennings. Phillips came off of Graham Arnold. Throw to Olympic. Now Sopa. Away there from Graham Jennings. Still Marshall Sopa. And this one across, away by Rosic. Back to Sopa again. Footed this time. Away by Zarko Jacko. Now Zarko Yorin. And now Graham Arnold. Marty Rogers was the only player back for Olympic. Now joined by Tony Dacos, still Graham Arnold. Stopped there by a good challenge from Martin Rogers. Cody back. Still Arnold gets his crossing. Away this time by Phillips. And now Stuart Johnston. Now then uh, Olympic might have a chance. A little bit more room to work in. Vitalis forward. And Terry Vitalis is the player called offside. Tyler, who's come on as a substitute, put there offside. This game switching from end to end as it has done since the start. Really good, a very good display from both sides of attacking soccer. And now a three-on-one situation. This is Graham Arnold. Elzelko Yori. And just wide there from Zelko Yorin, denied by Gary Meyer. But Olympic there were caught. Three on one situation. And Zelko Yorin so close to his hat trick. Top save by Gary Meyer. Did very, very well in a difficult situation. But they're all at sea Olympic. The push men forward uh, really a bit stupidly, uh, whereas they need to get a bit of space up front and come from behind, I think. On the far side now to Sydney, Croatia. Rizzo. Caught there by Peter Eskopoulos. Doesn't agree with the decision. Uh, it's hard when you're down, everything seems to go against you. Oh, really. 
handshake there from Peter Roscopoulos for David Rezzo. So Zarko Zhakov giving his free kick for Zelko Jorin. Petkovic away there by Kalantis. Now Shane Clinch. Petkovic there was the player caught offside. The offside flag went up. Shane Clinch doing some good defensive work. Throw for Sydney Olympic. Salas. Nice to Villio. And Croatia have got players back quickly. And now Zarko Zhakov. Rezo. Petkovic is starting to limp. Not move too freely. Zarko Jurin. Graham Arnold's made a run through the middle. Mike Cody there to tidy up the situation for Olympic. Stopolis. Croatia got plenty of men behind the ball though. Stopolis. The Olympic now. Still plenty of men behind the ball and easily contained. Olympic now 10 minutes away from losing their unbeaten record. 15 league matches this season. Seven wins and eight draws. Before this game today, no defeats. Now Dacos. Tony Dacos being allowed to come forward. They should have a funnel back into defence. Yeah, they're defending well Croatia now. They're not committing themselves, they're just getting behind the ball and in fact uh, getting the ball given to them in the end. Shane Clinch, Petkovic. Top play, very unlucky. Shane Clinch there took up a very good position in the middle of the park. Croatia now wanting to make another substitution. The two goal hero, Ivor Petkovic is the player to come off. And Emil Dragijevic is the player to come on. Dragijevic replaces Petrovic. So Shane Clinch. Dragijevic, his first touch, it's coming on. It's a substitute. Looks nicely now for Shane Clinch. Easily dispossessed though by Gary Phillips. Now Johnston. Vitalis. Kovacic went down. Stuart Johnson runs straight into him, but he breaks now for Terry Vitalis. Vitalis is shot. It's throw to be taken by Wally Shavor. Croatia supporters in good voice now all around the Croatian Sports Centre. Red, white and blue flags are in abundance. Dragijevic. Now Rezo. It's intercepted though by Tony Dacos. Sopa. Vitalis, beaten to the ball there by Kovacic. Phillips there, his pass is misplaced. It's a second bite of the cherry, intercepted this time by Shavor. Skopoulos. Antis. Sorry, flag up. Well, nothing seems to be going right for Olympic at the moment. It worked hard enough. <laughs> The face there of Sydney Olympic coach Manfred Schaefer. So they're trailing by four goals to one. Just about six minutes left. Cody. Gary Phillips. One across. Away there by Wally Shavor. And this certainly hasn't been a happy hunting ground for Sydney Olympic. They were beaten 5 0 here last year in the league. Yeah, it's just looking a bit hopeful now. Everything they do just seems to be a little bit hopeful. Uh, Croatia just sitting back, picking everything up, and uh, looking very composed, really. Chances. Challenge there for Wally Shavor. 
Calantis trying to get the ball across. Charged down there by Vedran Rozic. Tied it up by Wally Shavor. And all the way back to Steve Watson. Down down, so there's Wally Shavor. It's the final five minutes. That's up. Mike Cody. Back for Gary Meyer. Vitalis, now to run forward, but needed a much better cross than that, and Terry Vitalis won't be happy at all, looks at the ground. Yeah, it's a good run, he's, uh, I, I don't think he's played that much this season, and probably that's just that little bit of touch that he needed. Johnston there, have a quick word from the referee after that challenge on the keeper. side to Sydney Croatia Croatia in no hurry to take this throw Shavor to his captain coach Vedran Rozic there by Dacos now it's the video it's the video there bringing down Djevic free kick in Sydney Croatia Jumper's becoming a bit frayed Djevic the player involved caught there by that challenge from Estevillo there between Moskopoulos and Djevic now Rezo Shabor forward Djevic was the player caught offside so it's the video now Gary Phillips Talis now Sopa Marshall Sopa quickly closed down Zarko Zhakov Dravicevic was the player caught allegedly offside we'll say that that really did look a dodgy decision now Sopa Marshall Sopa Dacos is running to the centre forward position now Patalis Patalis check there by Rosic Johnston managing to get the ball across safely taken there by Steve Watson Steve Watson's had a good match this afternoon. That's the hero. That penalty save. Two minutes into the second half. And I'll watch now, less than 90 seconds left. Sydney Olympics unbeaten run in the league this season. Now 90 seconds away from ending. Moskopoulos. Wurstopolis. Phillips. Just chipping that one forward. No problems for Croatia. Zarko Zhakov all the way back to Steve Watson. Croatia now. Quite content to waste the final 30 seconds. Cody. Phillips. Dacos. Phillips again. Rogers. Mr. 
Coyo, born in possession and dispossessed. And now Zelko Yorin. Swing Zelko Yorin. Can this be his hat trick? He's denied there again by Gary Meyer. Second time Zelko Yorin has been denied a hat trick by the keeper. 90 minutes have gone. We're now playing stoppage time. Sydney Croatia 4, Sydney Olympic 1. Referee Jim Reeves starts to check his watches. Raskopoulos going forward. Sopa, the offside flag up. And Stuart Johnston. So Vidran Rosic, the captain coach of Sydney, Croatia. We'll be delighted with this performance. Delighted with this result that we'll see Sydney, Croatia go to the top of the Northern Division. As the final whistle goes, Sydney, Croatia have regained the league leadership. And for Sydney Olympic, their 15-match league unbeaten run comes to an end. Goals coming after 48 minutes from Petrovic, his second of the afternoon. Zoko Yuri got his second of the afternoon after 74 minutes. But it all hinged on a penalty miss after 47 minutes from Vincente Estevillo. It was a penalty that could have brought Olympic back on level terms. But after that foul to go in, Sydney Croatia went on the rampage.